Mr. Traveler. His Excellency, uh, Madam Minister, Mr. Ajman, to my mother, Auntie Fio, uh, I just noticed that Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee came in. Thank you for joining us. We do know that you all have a lot of votes going on. This is a heavy election time, so you all are busy, so we thank you for joining us. Nani Yao. I don't have a lot to say today. My name is Diallo Sumbri. I'm a member of the Year of Return Committee. But I just want to share uh, something small with you. Coincidence is fake news. It's a twin brother or sister to alternative facts and a not so distant relative of the devil. I'm not a preacher, but I know God. And I know God because my life is a testament. And I'm standing in front of you here today in the National Press Club with His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akorfado, President of the Republic of Ghana, and all of you because something told you to be here. And if it's one thing I am as sure of as the fact that Ghana has the best jollof rice on the planet, <laughs> it's that coincidence and God can't share the same space because they're counterintuitive. I'm going to say that one more time. Coincidence and God cannot share the same space because they're counterintuitive. And where God is, coincidence and happenstance, luck, doubt cannot coexist. And I doubt anyone here can tell me where God doesn't exist. I believe that right now we have a unique opportunity at our hands as the annals of history has proven what happens when people seize opportunity. So this time right now is our time. We have a lot of work to do. Today is pretty. Today is nice. Today is borderline sexy. But when you leave this room, when you go back to your home, when you go back to your community, when you go back to your office, when you go back to Congress, when you go back to church, when you go back to wherever it is that you may go back to, I ask that you do not leave your commitment and your excitement here at the National Press Club, but you take it with you and you churn it and you turn it into something that is measurable with timelines written down and measured impact because we do have an opportunity. And it is of my humble opinion that if we aren't working in a way that our efforts today have an impact at least nine generations deep then we're making a serious misstep right now. We have an opportunity. It takes work. It takes commitment. And it takes sacrifice. But we are here today, again, not by happenstance and not by luck. Not just because the logo looks nice. Thank you to Media Magic. And not just because we are here. The spirit of Ghana is inside of you. And once again, Ghana has an opportunity to lead Africa into the next generation. So the questions that you have to ask yourself, that you have to ask yourself and that you will answer every day you look yourself in the mirror because only you know is what is it that you are doing to get people home. And I'm not just talking about the people you work with, but I'm talking about the brothers and sisters that are on the scratch line, the people who you lock your doors when you see them walking across the street, and some of the people who might be sitting on your stoop that you're afraid to talk to. There are geniuses in our midst, and I can promise you, as a testament, we can activate their genius by touching their feet on the African soil. Again, my name is Diallo Sumbri. I'm the president and CEO of the Adinkra Group. Thank you so much.